Welcome back, I'm Dan of the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw nightshades from War Dragon to the video game, so stay, stay tuned to learn how to draw this amazing dragon. So yeah, first of all we're going to put in the outline, a basic um, shape of what the thing looks like so we won't ruin our proportions up. I usually say that the, the beginning of the drawing is always the most important part to get all the shapes down. So I believe some of you have requested this dinosaur, or giant, I'm so used to saying dinosaur, but I believe some of you have requested Nightshade, and hopefully you guys will be satisfied with this drawing. It's got short, stocky legs, and it doesn't really have any front arms, it just has its wings. And this dragon looks especially cool in its armor, so we're going to be drawing it like that. It's got a very cool tail with like a stegosaurus type spikes on the back. Got a horn there. And we're going to be able to see a little bit of the other wing on the other side, but not much. So I'll center our drawing a bit more so you can see it better. So yeah, I'm going to concentrate first on the head. It's usually the most complicated place. So it's got like a beak type snout at the very front of its at the top part of its head it's got a beak type thing with the horn sticking out so a little bit like triceratops not exactly but so this is more like a spike not really a horn so put that in and then put a little edge to the beak certainly would not want to be bit, bitten by this dragon. It's got a complicated headpiece here. Put the eye in right now. So you can't really see much of the eye. Because it's covered by armor. It's been raining a lot where I am right now, um, so my paper is really damp. I hate when it's damp because the quality is not as good as when it's nice and dry. And then it has a bunch of spikes coming out in a row in the very center of the head there. And coming out right behind his eye is a big horn. Dragons are famous for having horns, and this one certainly has one. I'll make that a little longer. I'll add a little bit of shading to these. Spikes. Sorry, I just got a call <laughs> on my iPad. Oh, there it goes again. But can't do that while I'm making a video. So I'll add some shading there. So if you have nightshade, please comment below and tell me if you have nightshade, because I do not. I certainly, I don't really know anything about nightshade, but it's a very cool looking dragon. So 
So I'm just going to work a little bit on the bottom jaw here. I know not many of you like war dragons or dragons in particular as much as dinosaurs. I certainly like dinosaurs better, but I think war dragons are really cool, especially the ones from war dragons. I enjoy drawing them. I hope you do as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of shade in here. To the top of the head. And now we can put in the rest of the bottom jaw. And this part's not covered by armor. So the beak is actually, the beak up here is just the armor. So it's not really what the dragon would look like under it. So now we can put in the teeth. Put the other side at the bottom jaw. It's got a tongue there, so we'll put that in. Put the other side of the top jaw as well. So yeah, it's got a mouthful of teeth there. And that's about what the head looks like. Of course, I'm going to put in the other horn. It actually doesn't, this, the other horn doesn't really look like this in the refer, reference images I'm using, but going to add it in like that. So now I'm going to move on to the neck. The neck is very tedious but fun to draw because it's got lots of decorations like this is certainly the most one of the most armored looking dragons. So I'm going to start by putting in these plates. It's got let's see, six of them so one two three four five. I think we're good with five. It doesn't we don't have to be that exact to put six in. This is where the shoulder will be. So yeah. Take my eraser and erase out the middle. So we can put in the decoration that belongs there. So all we're doing is I, I heard from one of my friends a funny dragon or a few funny dragon jokes so I'm, I'm going to tell you some of them so the first one was why are dragons such good to storytellers and the answer is because they have tails <laughs> See, I thought that was kind of funny and the other one was I just got my little noise finger here to make the laughing the other one was um why did the dinosaurs live longer than the dragons? And the answer is because they didn't smoke. <laughs> so I thought those were both really funny. Hope you guys enjoy them as well. You can tell them to your friends. I thought that they were really hysterical. Especially the dinosaur one. Just because I like dra dragons and dinosaurs. But I like dinosaurs more. So. And the dinosaurs don't smoke. So. <laughs> The dinosaurs are healthier, at least. <laughs> Even though the dragons might be more powerful. Because they're mythical, and dinosaurs are actually real. Or were real. So yeah, now we're going to add a little bit more decoration to the trim around each of these plates. Well, this is actually taking a while. We've already hit 10 minutes. I'll try and speed up a bit here. So, for each of these plates, there's a little... little strap here.
So we'll put that like that. So I'm going to redo this. Got that wrong. It looks like this. So there are these straps that are attached that I guess would tie the armor on around the neck, which make, makes complete sense. So give a little edge to it. In color, it would look golden, so very cool. So I went to the orthodontist today, and he said I'll get my brace. If you guys don't know already, I have braces. So hopefully I'm going to get them off soon. He said it's about maybe two months. And he's also one of my subscribers. He watches my videos. It's, he's kind of, he's pretty cool. And, um, so hopefully my voice might sound a little bit clearer. And you guys will be able to understand me a little better. Because people, my friends will tell me that they can't understand me as well. Now that I, since I've had braces than before. And I've had my braces for almost three years. So, it's been a long time. So right now I'm just going to add a few circular scales. To make the neck look cooler. Perhaps you can add a couple of wrinkles to the cloth there. So now I'm going to head on to the torso. This has got this big, like, buckle or medallion right on its stomach. So we'll put that in. I'm not really sure what's on the medallion. It looks sort of like a face or something. I'm not drawing it exactly like what the medallion looks like. But That still looks cool. A little bit of shading there. This has actually got quite a small torso compared to its neck. Its neck is pretty massive, but the torso is not. So this dragon is mostly about its armor, as you can see. So the armor attaches all around. So I'll put that in there. Add some edge to the royal garment of the dragon. And we can add some scales here. So these scales are similar to dinosaur scales, just regular round scales, we'll put those in, maybe add a bit of shading, like so, and there you have it, that's the torso and the neck done. So now I'm going to add the shoulder piece of armor. I'm 
It's got two spikes coming out, made of metal, of course. That's what the armor's made of. So put those in. Put some shade in. That's so. So now we're going to work on the legs. The legs are a bit confusing. At first I didn't know how to draw them, but now I think I understand how they're supposed to be drawn. So we'll start by putting in a piece of knee armor. Weird shape. those in and put in the thigh of the dragon it's got like some armor on the top but not much on the rest of the leg So the thighs will be covered in scales as well. So just put those in. So for all of you Jurassic World fans, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to release the Death Dodo drawing video soon. Just not yet. I'll still have to work on it a bit. But it's coming, it's coming. I still can't get over the death dono. I can't believe they actually made a boss battle dinosaur out of it. Because they're bound to have some sea boss battle aquatic creatures fight. That would, that would be really cool. So now we're adding the foot. So this will be the calf right here. The ankle. So it's bending back toward us. That's why it looks so small. But it's actually really crouched. And I can't really, I don't have a good view of the feet, the reference image I'm using, because it's blocked by a piece of stone. So I'm just going to have to use the other foot to get an idea what this looks like. It's got three spikes. These are not the claws, these are actually spikes sticking out there. Got a plate of armor that goes over its feet. Very thick armor, as you can see. And its claws are right here. So we put those three claws in. I hope you guys can see it well. I'll put the toes in now. And this one actually, this dragon nightshade has another toe but it sticks out the back like a bird's so you'll be able to see it on the next foot I'm going to draw so now you can have some shading there
So at this live you actually get a better view of what the leg actually looks like. And the foot as well. So this leg is going to be a little darker because it's we're seeing the inner side of the leg, unlike the other one, which was we're seeing the outer side. So we'll just put some shading there. Put in the spikes there. Here's the back claw and toe that sticks out there. It really has surprisingly short toes, front toes and claws. I did make this a little too short though. So that would explain. I'm going to make it a little longer. So I have a 5K race this weekend. I'm looking forward to that. I probably told you in my other videos, but I, in my other videos, but um. I just love running. I do it a lot. So, like I ran six miles yesterday, and hopefully, I'll set a good time for my 5K race. So, yeah, now we're done with the legs, and basically, almost the entire dragon has done it, except for the wings and tail. So for the wings, we're not going to really be able to fit them all in the page, but I'll do my best. So this part of the wing is completely, it's almost like it's arms, basically, because it doesn't have other arms like Fenrir, another war dragon has arms and wings and legs. This just has wings and legs. But it does have some claws, as you can see, that are attached to the wing. So right here, there's a big piece of wing armor with a spike. So put that in. Oh, we'll add some shading to make it look more realistic. And it's got some more plates here of armor. Armor may be useful for dragons, but against another dragon, the um, the dragon with armor would just get roasted, and the steel would be uncomfortable once it's melting. And I guess it could slow you down, but then if you're a dragon attacking, uh, uh like another dragon base. And you're just trying to smoke buildings and catapults and stuff like that. Then armor would be more useful because you could stop ballista shrapnel and stuff just flying at you. But so far I'm not sure if the armor in the game actually makes the dragon stronger. I don't think so. 
and it's just for um, looks for now at least they might change that so it's got sort of a tattery looking wing it's got like holes and stuff but it gives it a cool looking effect This could be like holes from anti dragon guns and ballistas and stuff like that. Or a lightning tower or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Could be caused by lots of different things, like a rough landing. Or Or it could be that that's just the way the dragon's born, is with the torn wings. It's hard to tell. So I have the segments here on the wing. Now I want to add the tail. So the tail, I guess, would be one of its main weapons because it's got those stegosaurus-like spikes on the back. So I'm going to put the armor right now on the tail. And again, it's strapped down by this cloth material. as very similar to the neck so I'll add a bit of shading there and this part of the wing actually goes in front of that spike the other spike in a little bit of shading there and I'll put the opposite two spikes here and I guess that's good for the tail Now we can move on to the other wing. Let's add some shading here. The other wing basically is just, we're just gonna see one piece of it. And that's the only piece we see. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe for more War Dragon and Dinosaur videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video on how to draw Nightshade from War Dragons. So I'm going to sign my signature there. And yeah, thanks for watching.